So in the partnership, we have two urban school districts that are working with their teachers to kind of take up the next generation science standards vision. This is a Washington State Math Science Partnership um, that brings together the University of Washington College of Engineering, University of Washington College of Education, uh, Seattle Public Schools, Renton School District, and the Institute for Systems Biology. So we support the implementation of the Next Gen Science Standards as an equity mandate, actually. So all residents should have access to this knowledge and should learn through a process that allows them to enter into the learning process and actually you know, develop their own deep understanding of it. We're building something new from scratch. And so how do you start with some vague ideas and really then refine those based on feedback, based on implementation, and based on what the research field um, has to say about similar types of work. And the strategy in play is to have groups of teachers um, uh, modifying existing curriculum materials in, uh, in a targeted way focused on specific practices within the next generation science standards. We've seen um, curriculum designs where a team of, of fifth grade teachers are thinking through how to engage kids in engineering design activities as part of a science experiment and then that same activity gets kind of used across multiple classrooms and then across the two districts involved in the effort. So to, to see teachers engaging kids in those powerful learning experiences and seeing how they can kind of push on their own practice after 10, 15 years in the classroom is just awesome. From our standpoint, um, we are interested in understanding the improvement of improvement. So what is the role, what is the appropriate role for research and development to um, engage with existing efforts to improve STEM education? So in one sense, we want to figure out how to support them. How can we be a useful collaborator on the ground? In another sense, we want to theorize about that. We want to talk about how it works. We want to describe it in detailed empirical accounts. And we want to build tools that will support others to do that kind of work. And so what's exciting is like we're, we're starting to see things shift in classrooms. We're starting to see teachers take up new ways of engaging their students. And you know the, the long-term goal for me is really to think about um, how to let these ideas and tools travel, like how to actually support somebody else to take a set of designed materials, redesigned materials, and adapt them for their use for their classroom. Um, and to, for me, the, the end game is to build capacity to do that ongoing work to actually create innovative and exciting learning experiences you know, for all, all learners.